What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm going to be doing an, a presentation tutorial and I'm just going to be showing you how to create this multi-artboard effect for your images or for some paintings or you can create kind of these multiple canvases and one image goes over all of these and these are quite popular just for home decor or they can be used for architectural presentation that's what what interests me in uh, in this type of a presentation and I'm just going to show you how what's the easiest way to export uh, images this way where you kind of split it up into multiple artboards but before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day okay so here I am in Adobe Illustrator and you can use multiple programs to do to get this effect I just found Illustrator does it in the least amount of work and clicks so let's go so you just go here to file you go to new and here you can choose the size so I'm just going to go with an A3 that's kind of oriented vertically and I'm going to be using four artboards so here I'm just going to type in four and for columns you need to type in the same number of artboards for columns so they're kinda in a row next for spacing I suggest you do something a bit bigger uh, when you're doing something like this you can see this is like 800 is the, the the width of one artboard so here you can go with at least I, I would say 40 points or maybe even more or we can change the units to centimeters I guess yeah let's go with two centimeters for this one okay and next thing make sure that the orientation is vertical and that's pretty much it there's nothing much more to do and here of course for the color mode make sure that it's it's Mac if or C M Y K if you're going to be printing this and for the rest effect make sure that it's high at 300 uh, p PPI or pixels per inch just to get a crisp image and for preview mode just go with default that's pretty much it and you just hit OK so you get these four artboards and you can kind of scroll around and now you can change your size but first what I like to do is load the image in so I'm just going to move Illustrator out of the way a bit and here I've got a nice architectural image so I'm just going to load it in and let's see so let's place an image like this on one end then you grab this corner and you hold the shift key and then that allows you to proportionately place the image over here so you kind of place it like this and once you have your image in place now you can play around with the artboards and you can see them if you zoom in you can see here are the artboards so you just go here to this uh, artboard tool or you can use the shift O shortcut and then you just kind of play around and move them out uh, move them around a bit and you can be symmetrical for this or you can go with asymmetrical pattern which is what I'm going to do for this one so just go like this I guess okay I've accidentally created a new artboard which I'm going to delete by hitting this X here okay so you just again if you select the image it's going to create a new artboard which is annoying but let's change this one this one is all right maybe make this one a bit higher like that and for this one let's again I made this one so that's annoying but you can kind of play around with it and kind of stretch it a bit maybe go a bit more down okay so let's say we're happy with the artboard pattern now we just need to export this so we can take it to the printers and I prefer exporting into JPEG images so you just go here to file you go to export and when you're on your uh, uh, desktop or wherever you want to save the file just go here for, to JPEG and now you can just make sure that you select here check use artboards and check all of them and you just go save and you just hit OK and if we minimize this okay wait a second it's exporting so if we wait for a couple of seconds it's a large image so it's, it takes a while okay and if I minimize here on desktop you can see we've got our images all separated so as you can see over here it kinda separated everything into different artboards and you can just take this to the printer and then you can I don't, I don't know place it in your living room or if you're doing this for architectural presentation maybe in some dark parts you can add some floor plans or text or diagrams or whatever so that's how you get this 
cool multiple artboard effect using Adobe Illustrator and again as, as I said you can use multiple softwares for this I just prefer Illustrator because it's the fastest one I found out okay so that's pretty much it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day